What's up email marketers? You guys recently loved a video I did where I explained how I take my designs from Figma and implement them into Klaviyo for email marketing. So today I have a campaign that I need to build out for my designer and I thought I would take you along in the process, bringing the design from my designer who did it in Figma all the way over into Klaviyo to be seamlessly integrated and beautiful. Some of the questions I received from the last video were about dimensions and sizes, mobile versus desktop. We will cover that today. If you are a brand owner or agency owner and you're looking to better understand what content you should be putting in your email marketing flows in Klaviyo, for a Shopify e-commerce brand, I have something amazing coming for you. Make sure you sign up below for the waitlist for my flow optimization outlines. These are prompts and outlines where you can directly frame your content for your Klaviyo automations and easily pass them off to a designer. You'll have everything you need packaged up tight and ready to go. This is going to be an amazing resource. And when you sign up for the waitlist below, you will get a special discount when it launches. All right, let's jump into Figma and Klaviyo and design this email. Here we have the email that was submitted by my designer after I gave her my brief, which I am going to be sharing how I brief my designer in the upcoming Optimize Your Flows cheat sheet. So get on the wait list down below. Here is the email fully outlined and we are going to bring it over to Klaviyo. So I have, this is just the remnants of an old email so that I have the footer still in place um, and some of the fonts and buttons and such, but let's start. So right away, what I want to do is I'm going to build this section since the background here is a nice off white color. I'm just going to copy that color and bring it on over into Klaviyo. We're going to pull in the logo. This is a PNG, so the background. What you wanna do is use a background color so that if dark mode is on on the computer, then you won't get a weird black background. 200 seems about right. We're gonna do a quick padding on this to be about 20, 20. Perfection. And now we can change this text block color to be that same background color. And we will just, we're gonna do this as plain text so that it can be easily readable in the email. So I'm actually gonna duplicate this so we can have a separate header. We have our custom font in here, so that is super easy. We're going to go bold. Let's see what size is it over here. 30. I don't think we're going to go quite up to 30. Let's see what 20 looks like. 24. Maybe we are going to 30. Okay, I'm not loving the bold. What font is this over here? Semi bold. I don't know if we have a semi bold in here. Let's look. We have medium. We will do medium and then we're going to adjust to the proper color. Perfect. We do also need maybe a little bit of top padding here in the block. And then we're also just going to pull in this copy for here. We're going to export the image, including the CTA. So to do that, I'm going to create a component. I always like to do 2x on export over here. We're going to export the component. And you will see that it has two, because we did this as plain text, this image is going to be a little bit too big. So what we're going to do, here it is, is we are just going to go into edit here, 
her up. Apply that. Save. Perfect. So now this top section looks just like this. For this next section, we're going to need to export both of these images. So what I'm going to do here is just make sure it's 2x, export, make sure it's 2x, export. Again, we will make these text sections over here. So we already have the right color in here. And what we want to do is make it into sections or columns, excuse me, two equal add columns. I just want to get the right colors in here. So I'm going to just drag a couple of things around and we're going to add an image, duplicate and add an image over here. Then we will upload the images we just exported. We want to add some padding because you can see in the design, there's definitely some padding happening here. So we'll just play around with this and make sure that we update the background color to be that same kind of gray. I'm just finessing it till it feels right. sure that it is the right font. This had hard breaks in it in the design, so that's why I'm having to change it here. And the top here has way too much padding, so we're going to bring this back down to about 10. We'll get this other picture in here. This picture for padding, we did 30, 30, so we'll do the same thing here. And make sure you get that background color fixed. Then we want the same over here for text. I don't think that there's a CTA in the section now. So again, the design had these line breaks, so we're just going to fix it. Done. All right, we got to update on style. This to be and 16. That was right. Delete. All right, we're seeing a little bit of discrepancy here. Sure that this all matches up. Perfect. Okay. Let's check what it did on mobile. Okay. Cool. Not stacking super cool on mobile. So what we can do on mobile, we're actually just going to hide that image. Well, everything else looks good. 
if we wanted for it to also look like this on mobile, we could do it in a table. So to do this, you would do this. We would want the text to be centered. And background color is this. Then, so we'll see on mobile, now this is side by side. It looks a little squishy though. So that's an option if you wanted it to be side by side on mobile as well. I actually think I prefer stacked, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this section and use the columns here in layout instead of table. But table is an option if you want it side by side on mobile as well. So now we just have this last section here. So we're gonna to continue to use columns in the next section because we could use a table. However, table doesn't allow you to use buttons. So we're gonna do columns so that we can do text and a button. So here is what we'll do here. We have an image in this column right here, which is this image. We need to change the background color to be appropriate for this section, which is this pink color. And then I'm going to duplicate this just for ease. formatting. And we will add a button and have to play with the design of that. So this all needs to get the background color changed. We can update the button no corner radius we want this text to be normal let's see what the text size of the button is 18 Feel like it's got a little bit of letter spacing. There we go. We're just gonna make the button look a little bit bigger here. Perfection. Everything you need in one daily serving. I'm going to use some spacers here because we might not need them on mobile. So let's get desktop appropriate. Just adding a couple of spacers in here. And then one more on the bottom section. 
to fill her out. Um, okay, let's check mobile. Oh, she's kind of a mess. So what we'll do here is we're going to hide this. Go back, and duplicate it. And this one is going to be mobile specific. And then on mobile only, we can move it down. Otherwise, she looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit too much space in here, so I will make this also desktop only. Perfect. What do we think, guys? Okay, so we have this, and let's preview and test to make sure we're not... Email size is good. We're a little bit close, but we're good. And a lot of that comes from having mobile and desktop specific sections. With this, the same color as the footer, They're, they are slightly different. I would maybe change the footer color, but I think I'm gonna leave it. So we have this was the design in Figma, and this is the final version in email. Looks pretty damn close. My tea is gone. The design is finished. Thank you so much for designing with me today. I hope that you learned something from transferring your design files from Figma into Klaviyo. Please let me know in the comments down below what you learned, how you'll be using this. And don't forget, sign up to get on the wait list down below for the flow optimization cheat sheet. This is going to be so helpful. It is literally the exact outlines that I use to create and optimize flows for all of my clients. It'll tell you what content to include. It'll help you hand it off to a designer. Oh, chef's kiss. Thanks for designing with me today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and all of those fun things. We'll see you next time.